Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. I am Mitchell, your Intuitive Messenger and your energy forecaster for today, Thursday, August the 8th, 2013. And it is an 8-8, which I really love. Um, this is an 8-day. So that is, um, for me, in the tarot, it's strength. So that card is a very powerful, um, uh, strength-proving type of uh, energy and a card. And as we, I'm stumbling because I'm thinking ahead, or am I ahead of myself? But you add all those numbers up, 8, 8, and 2013, you're going to get 22, which is a master number. So take the energy of that master number along with the strength card number 8, and you're going to get a very powerful day to build your own strength, to build your resilience. Resilientness, I think, maybe. Anyway, we'll make that word up today. But also, if you boil that 22 down, it's a number four, which is a very stable, solid number, peaceful number. Um, it's, just, it's just a really good day. I know, it's just a really good day. And um, it could be, today's my, one of my nephew's birthdays. And it's so funny, because growing up, my family, our family business was 888. And the number eight just followed our family around all the time. August this month was always our family's best month in business. July was always a very, very rough month for our family's business. Even when July, um, the family business burned down. Um, that was when my July was when my one of my grandmothers passed away. Actually, on the same day, many many years later, as the business burned down. So interesting, interesting numbers. I'm thinking about that. Um, I was uh, in my shower having my quiet time. And something, actually, no, I wasn't. I was making notes. Um, and I had a, a, a good message for today. And the message is, sometimes procrastination is just about divine timing. Okay, what does that mean? It is not an excuse to procrastinate and put things off. But also, divine timing for me is everything is right, right now. You know, if, if you're putting things off, putting things off, putting things off, it is right. It is the divine timing. But my the reason that came up, and I feel like the reason they gave me that message is, on my desk at work and my my daytime career that I truly love and enjoy, um, I have to every two years get continued education credits, and uh, I didn't have like enough just to send it in. And every year I have to send my main certification. I have to buy like twenty five dollar and buy a two and a half cert certification education credits from them just so I'm giving them some money because I gained them from other places throughout the year but I didn't have too many so I was thinking okay I have to buy a more expensive one buy more credits from them and I and I it's been sitting on my desk for like a month I got my CPR card which I have to have I've been sitting there been sitting there been procrastinating putting it off and then I finally realized this weekend I'm going to a big um, uh, conference which those certifications are going to be way more than I need. So then all I have to do is pay them a little $25. So the bottom line is I kept thinking, why am I putting this off? Why am I putting this off? Then I realized once I, and I even knew it, but it just didn't dawn on me. The divine timing was just right. So sometimes the procrastination is divine timing. That's where, once again, develop your intuition, connect with your guides, your teachers, your helpers on the other side. They are plentiful and all around you. And people are constantly saying, well, how can I do that? How can I do that? Um, on, on my website, intuitivemessenger.org, all the way at the bottom, Minute Meditations, there's one little Minute Meditation. I think most of them are like three to five minutes about just meeting your guides. It's simple, it's direct, it's to the point. The challenge for you is when you do it is trusting yourself. When you turn and you see that guide, just trust it. Just trust it. Even if it's something you've made think you made up okay because you're making it up most of the time they don't care what image you use they don't care what name you use if it's a snake that symbolism of you know maybe medicine and maybe shedding skin and, and new things coming out you know and that animal totem may change but it's the energy behind it because on the other side of this world there is no form you know the form is what's this reality that we live in the human body so don't get hung up on names and images and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm a big believer in angels and calling them by name. I believe, this is my personal opinion, that it's just identifying it so our little human brain can once again focus on something and have a better intention to set. If I believe that Raphael is the angel of healing um, and even animals, then when I focus on him, I have a better intention an attention and grasp of that and what I want, where I could just, you know, spirit healing, 
But it again, it comes back to what works best for you. Some love angels, some would rather have, you know, nature, spirits, and sprites, and things like that. Um, I love connecting with cards. So let's go ahead and do that now. So um, this was supposed to be a short video today, <laughs> but I talked a little bit more about that procrastination. So card for today is going to be, ba -bum. oh, can you see it? Four of Swords. How apropos for this day, um, which is also a number four day, boiling that 22 down. So number four, very stable, very solid, square box, four corners. This card is often called the Christ card in my deck, in my readings. The symbol right above the uh, crow is the symbol for Christ, um, Christ consciousness, and the image even looks like Christ with the, the towel wrapped around him um, uh, and then laying on the four swords. Um, and even when you think of the four points of a cross, etc., etc. So beautiful, peaceful card, and this is piece of brain, of mind, because the element air, which is what swords falls into, and that is um, the logical things, the mind, the mindset. Um, I feel like you, some of you might encounter a person who fits into this. Look for the person today who will probably be an air sign, which would be your Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I got my cheat sheet now. And um, that person may be bringing you extra peace today. Look for them today to be kind of your anchor, even though the ironic part is they're air and they're floating up high. I feel like they'll be at a peaceful place today, especially with the energy of the day. So. Um, there's your message. Have a peaceful day. Um, remember, it's a strength day. It's a master number day. Peaceful. Use this energy to propel yourself forward and connect with your guides, your intuition about the procrastination because it may just be divine timing. So um, I thank you for watching. Uh, I thank you all. Had the largest live listen to blog talk last night. A little over um, 100 of you were listening in last night, which is a big show for live. Um, usually when the week's over, I get in anywhere you know, from one week, 500 to um, 1400 have been my numbers. So very excited about that. Had a great reading last night. I was by myself. Next week, Da, 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 da. drum roll please, is Jennifer Todd Hornberg. She is an amazing woman, an energy healer. She has uh, um, genergyjoy.com. Um, if I'm getting it wrong, don't get mad at me. Um, but uh, you can find her um, Just Breathe is her page, is her company. Um, and Genergy Joy is one of her websites as well. Stones, crystals, a lot of stuff. She will be with me next Wednesday night. We're gonna have a fun night. Let me tell you what, we will probably giggle a lot we will probably cuss a little, um, we will probably heal a lot, and we will probably um, just have a good time. Uh, if you missed my virtual lab online class on Tuesday night, it was just about you know getting started with your intuition and the basics. You can always purchase that on my website as well, intuitivemessenger.org, as well as another one, Basics of Terror, which I use a lot in today's reading. Sunday night, Cosmic Caffeine, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Always available for individual readings. Love working with animals and their communication and finding out what's going on. It's usually about you, though, and not the animal. Um, I'll say about 75 to 80 percent of the time it's about you, not the animal. So signing off. Have a wonderful day. Namaste. Talk to you guys tomorrow.